Monday evening. I just got home from work. Uh, I got a lot to do, only a very few hours to do it. I've got our sheet pan out. I've taken our pernil out and it's been sitting out for about an hour. Uh, we're going to put it on the sheet pan. I'm going to stick it in the oven, which has been preheating at 350 degrees, and I'm going to leave it in there for about four hours. Uh, after the four hour mark, I'm going to peel off the aluminum foil. We're going to let the outside get crispy. Um, we're going to expose it to the heat. So it's going to cook for about like a total of six hours. So in the oven it goes, and then we're going to get on to the turkey and all the rest of the stuff that we got to do tonight before tomorrow. So that being said, we'll be right. Okay, our, our pernil has been going for a while. Now's it's time to get on to the yucca and a couple of other things, and we're going to get right to it. Yucca, lovely. Oh my God, I love this root vegetable. It comes to you like this, brown, waxed. It's got wax on it. Hey, don't cook it with the wax. I mean, I, I read something about that in one of the blogs, and I says, oh boy, that was somebody who never cooked yucca. Um, you can peel this off, the outer skin. You cut the end off like that, expose the white. Cut the other end off, expose the white, just like that. And <clears throat> that was a bad yucca, folks. <laughs> I only got this much left out of that whole yucca. Um, put your knife in the end and then twist just like that you twist off the outside hull and you're left with the beautiful white flesh on the inside just go under the knee just like that just underneath just like that it'll let you know where it wants to spread off and, and the root part comes off with the And you're left with that a beautiful white piece of flesh the rest is garbage you throw that away you don't cook with it okay so maybe you learned something at this point then we're just going to cut it into quarters and if you look in the inside sometimes you can see a uh, a string of a of a root piece like a stem, peel that out. If not, just cut it in another quarters, and it's ready for the pot. This is what they make tapioca out of, they make all sorts of things out of yucca. And we're gonna do it again. Oh, wow, these are bad yuccas I've gotten. They're all rotten. Wow, I'm just left with a little bit out of this whole yucca. Just like that. Peel it off, peel it off, peel it off. You can also use a, uh, a uh, vegetable peeler to peel this. It works just as good, nice and fast. Um, I just happen to be used to using the a knife to do this. Okay, off it goes. You want pure, nice white flesh. You don't want any colors inside of it. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to do the rest of these yukas up, and uh, when I'm done and ready to throw them in the pot, we'll be right back. Okay, our yuca is all cut up nice. All the brown skin has been taken off of it. The, uh, the outer layer of the, uh, the, of the, uh, the root has been taken off it. It's absolutely beautiful now. We're going to take it, we're going to throw it in that big old pot back there with about a gallon of water in it. And we're going to throw it in with uh, some salt. And we're going to cook it away for probably about 35, 40 minutes. At that point, we're going to take it out. We're going to strain it because we don't want those 
uh, those tapioca starches in there and we're gonna hit it with a beautiful garlic sauce. So, I'm gonna get that in the pot and after I get it in the pot, it's been cooking for 45 minutes, we'll be back. Our yuca's boiling away, crunch time, here we go. I've got about six strips of bacon cooking away in this beautiful cast iron skillet. That's for our Brussels sprouts, which is gonna be phenomenal. Uh, we're multitasking, we're doing it. Uh, I'm gonna get on to chopping up our Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna peel our butternut squash, get that all ready to get onto a pan and into the oven. So, it, like I said, it's crunch time. Our beautiful turkey has come out of the brine and is uh, um, letting off the, the excess brine. It's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna rub that down with a little butter and, uh, and oil, which is gonna crisp up that skin. We're gonna stuff it with some beautiful aromatics and some uh, sage and rosemary and celery. And we're just gonna be all over this tonight. We've got very few hours left to go. And, and, and as they say, we're, we're gonna be on it. So let's do it. Uh, let me wait till the bacon's cooked and then we'll take it from there. Thanks. Okay, our bacon's cooking, our yuca's cooking, everything's just cooking and we're moving like lightning here. This is, I washed these off, these are butternut squash. They're absolutely beautiful. Let me cut off this stem end, just like that, Let's take it off. And we're gonna take off the other end, Boop, just like that. And then we're going to take a vegetable peeler and we're going to peel it just like this. Boom. Off it goes. Boom. Off it goes. Um, I got to tell you, some of them, just for a contrast in texture, I like to leave the skins on. But this is the first time I'm making this for this group, so I'm going to take the skins off. I happen to like the skins. They add a texture that's crispy and crunchy and adds a little bit of resistance to that beautiful orange flesh that's left underneath that becomes roasted and beautiful. But we're going to just peel this all off. I'm going to peel these all off. I've got about one, two, three, four, five. I got about five butternut squash to take care of. And after I peel them off, dice them up, get them ready for the pan, We'll be right back. Okay, I'm cutting up our beautiful squash. First I cut it down, after I peeled it, I cut it down in half, and then I cut it in like half inch pieces, just like this, half inch pieces. And that goes in the pan, and we're gonna treat this with a little bit of olive oil, and we're going to put a little uh, thyme and a couple other seasonings in here and it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Get it in the heat. All right, here's our tray of our beautiful squash. We're going to olive oil it up. Boop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Probably about a half a cup, easy. Some pepper. Beautiful pepper. Some salt. Just like that, not too much. And I'm going to add, like, as soon as I get my garlic in, we're going to move this around, shake it up, throw it in the oven, 400 for about 35 minutes. When that's all done, okay, our yuca is out. Our Brussels sprouts are cooking. Uh, <clears throat> I put them in the pan with a little bit of water, a little bit of olive oil, some salt, pepper, and some garlic. They're going at it. They're looking absolutely phenomenal. I just turned the heat down. There's some salt and pepper in there. As soon as I start to see them caramelize, I'm gonna throw in the lovely bacon that we cooked, and it'll go, it'll be phenomenal. Um, like I said, we already got our stuffing done, our yucca, our cranberries, our 
Brussels sprouts are almost done. Uh, in the oven we've got our butternut squash, our pernil, and soon we're going to throw in our turkey. We're going to rub her down with some spices. We're going to put some aromatics inside of her. And then in the oven she goes for about cuatro horas, about four hours, um, at about uh, 325. So, that being said, we're moving right along. Uh, it's about ooh, one o'clock in the morning, just about. So I've got about four hours to get this the rest of this dinner together, and that's going to be what's going to happen with this bird. So in a few minutes, she's going in the oven, and we'll all be happy. So we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, what can I tell you? I'm cleaned up. Um, we've got our stuffing our yuca, our uh, green uh, sauce to go with the pernil. We've got our Brussels sprouts. We've got our cranberries all done, packed away. The only things we're waiting on are what's in the oven, which is the turkey, the pernil, and the butternut squash. Uh, once that comes out of the oven, I'll see if I can get a shot of it. But all I know is I'm exhausted now. Uh, it's getting late. I need to get a little bit of shut eye before I gotta get out of here. It's 2.10 in the morning, and uh, I think I'm leaving in about another two hours. So, we got two hours left on the clock, and I'll see if I can't get a shot of it before I uh, pack it all up. So, we'll see in a little bit. It's 5.30 in the morning, our Zen Thanksgiving is completed. There's our beautiful turkey in the refrigerator. <laughs> 